Welcome back to another Craftsnoons with Creaty. I know, two in two weeks, just after I told you that I might not be making it consistently. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make 12 different DIY, musical, Broadway inspired character costumes. I got all of the pieces for the costumes either from my wardrobe or just from like an op shop and they're not very much money. I was gonna push this video back a couple of weeks, but then I thought maybe you might wanna use some of the costumes for Halloween, so I'm gonna do it today. Quick disclaimer before you watch the video. I'm not trying to be a beauty guru or anyone that's like, oh my god, this is how you should do things because I am not. I just wanted to do this video because I love musicals so much and I thought that I might want to share that inspiration with other people like me or people just want to look for costume ideas. Anyway, after all that uh, mumbling, let's get into the video. Okay, for the first costume, it's Belle from Beauty and the Beast. For Belle, I went with her classic provincial costume. All I used was a three quarter length white shirt with a blue tank top over the top. And then I got a blue skirt and tucked in a small white apron onto the front of it. For the hair, I simply twisted two sides and brought them together in a ponytail and secured it with a bow. And for the shoes, I just wore a pair of white ballet flats. I also carried around a book to give more hint into the character that I was playing. Okay, because Wicked's my favorite, I did three characters. So the first character is Nessa Rose. For Nessa, I used a velvet black dress with three silver buttons on the top, which I actually got from the op shop. And then I used a pair of black and white striped socks and of course some sparkly silver shoes. I actually made the silver shoes by gluing silver sequins onto a pair of old black shoes. And for the hair, I just pulled it back in a tight bun. Second character from Wicked is Elphaba. For Elfie, I just used a green tank top covered over by a black cardigan. Then I just used an extra flowy black skirt, but any black skirt will work. For makeup, I understand if you wouldn't want to cover yourself in green, so I just did some green eyeshadow and then the red lips. And the costume wouldn't be complete without Aussie and green glasses, a witch hat, and of course, the broom. And for the shoes, I just wore brown combat boots. And the third character from Wicked is Glinda. Glinda's look was inspired by her popular costume, and so I used a fun pink dress. And of course for the hair, I had it out and added her classic pink flower. Then I used little silver ballet flats and carried around a stick with tin foil on top of it to look like her training wand. Bubbles are also a fun idea to add some more Glinda into the costume. Uh, the next costume is Mary Poppins from Mary Poppins. Mary's costume consists of a classic red coat and a blue skirt, both of which I actually got from the op shop, a collared white shirt, a red bow tie, and black stockings. For the shoes, I used some black ankle boots. And for the hair, I tied it back in a tight bun. I also stuck a mini hat to a black headband to resemble the hats that she wears. And of course, to top off the outfit, use a black umbrella. The next character is Penny from Hairspray. For Penny, I used a classic 1950s slash 60s style dress, which you can get anywhere. Pretty much any colorful pattern dress works. For her hair, I did it in two pigtails and pulled my fringe back a little bit. And in the production, Penny has curly hair, but in my production, I had a blackout, so curling was out of the picture. For the shoes, I just used black vans and white frilly socks. And finally, I made myself a little lollipop out of cardboard and carried around a bottle of hairspray. The next character is Ariel from The Little Mermaid. Ariel's look is very much inspired by the Disney movie, so I'm really sorry about that, but it's so iconic that I thought it would be a really good costume. For my hair, I just used red curly hair wig. Then I used a purple singlet top and a flowy green skirt to give away the character. As a prop, I also carried a fork because that's what she carries around all the time. Next is Little Red from Into the Woods. For Red, I was inspired by the movie of Into the Woods, so I simply used a blue onesie overall thing and a red cape. My cape actually didn't have a hood, but it didn't really matter as you can still tell who the character is. For the shoes, I just wore brown combat boots and white socks. And for my hair, I just did it in two plaits. Next is Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. For Dorothy, I used a dress that my cousin actually made by sewing a white tank top to a blue and white striped skirt. Then I matched it with painted red glittery shoes and frilly socks. The hair was simply twisted and then secured into two ponytails. And I'm sorry about the odd colored hair ties, I don't know what I was thinking. Then all I needed was a basket, Toto was absent today, and then I was off to see the wizard. Next is Wednesday Adams from The Adams Family. Okay, for Wednesday, it's just a lot of black. On Wednesday, we wear black. <laughs> I used inspiration from the musical and the movie, so for her hair, I did it in two plaits. Then for the outfit, I used a collared white shirt under a black cardigan. Then I used full-length black tights and a black skirt. 
And for the shoes, I use black ankle boots and white long socks. Next is Matilda from Matilda. You know, for Matilda, all you need is a grey blazer, a collared white shirt, red tie, and a black or grey skirt. Then I just teased my hair like they do in the production. For my shoes, I just wore white socks and black bands. I also made an I have been to chokey sign to make sure that this costume wasn't confused with a sexy schoolgirl or a zombie schoolgirl costume. Next is Eponine from Les Mis. To create Eponine's look, I used a white tank top, a brown belt, and a brown skirt. And the skirt was actually a gold skirt that I just flipped inside out. And then I put on a brownish tan colored trench coat over the top. For the hair, I made it messy and put a brown hat over the top. <laughs> For shoes, I just use my brown combat boots. So a lot of brown. Next is Sandy from Greece. For Sandy, I simply used a black tank top and pushed the sleeves off my shoulder. Then I used textured black tights and of course, pink or red heels. For hair, Sandy's is actually curled, but as I said before, blackout. So I just teased it a little bit and red lipstick is also really essential. Well, I hope you enjoyed that craft afternoon for this week. Give it a big thumbs up if you do and let me know in the comments what your favorite character costume was and also what your favorite musical is because I'm really interested to know. And I'll see you on Saturday with a new video. Bye.